Hey there guys, and welcome to another edition of Event Running. Uh, this week we have the Blighted Graveyard event, which brings, uh, which introduces some new appearance items and reintroduces some old ones. Here I'll show you. Uh, la, la, la. Here we go. So as you can see, we've got our new Death Mark items here, and we also see the return of some older appearance items. Um, I'm. I'm not entirely sure why they decided to just do this instead of filling it all up with death mark, but I have no complaints. I missed out on um, was it just yeah it was just the fur footwear and the lich blade I think, so I was glad to get the chance to uh, to fill up and uh, one uh, the the careful observer will note that there is a lot of damage output across these things. Um, they're, in my opinion, they went a little nuts with the crit chance, like, in the past couple events. Uh, let's see. Sitting on 92.8 right now, I can don these for 99.8. Uh, and then they've got the, the, of course, the artifact medal from the Throne of the Drowners event, which puts me over 100. Um, I'm going to stick those back on because I like my move speed. And... Yeah, that's it's uh it's gonna it's gonna get broken real quick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wander to the event now. And Blighted Graveyard. It's 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 an it's another arena style event and it's five waves of just undead and of various shroud enemies. Um I'm not sh sure what's going on exactly. Uh, I, s I read on the patch notes for the update on the 15th, the last one I believe it was, that ice events are starting soon. But here it's just corpses and shroud and various recycled enemies. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but oh well. <laughs> I was actually kind of looking forward to that. The, uh, the ice events, that is. But anyway, here we have uh, your the zombie army. And it's pretty basic stuff. Oops, didn't even finish the first wave. There we go. So I like to stick to this side for the first two waves because the, um, the most painful enemies spawn on this side. Oh. Am I wave 3 already? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Did not realize that I was on wave 3. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, apparently I'm on wave 3 now, and on wave 3 I like to actually be over here to take out the Undead Archmage. And what I like to do is I like to... Uh, he spawns in the corner, so I just like to go right up next to him, because what mages do, the enemy mages, is they tend to run away from you a bit before casting an attack. So what I like to do is I like to uh, just trap him in the corner there, and so he he actually won't attack you, because just because he's trying to move but he can't move, and it's it's an easy kill and you don't get hit with that nasty spell, the the slow spell or the, um, the spider thing. I mean none none of those are really like bad or anything. They're 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 pretty easy to escape from with say teleport, but it's always always nice to get all your bases covered. Um, so as you saw on the little third wave there we had the our first boss character or the undead and now we've just taken out Grendel the Man Crusher. And as you can see this event is mostly busy work. Oops I need to be here. Shard Impaler. Hate those guys. Um, if you're not paying attention you can still take a lot of damage. Uh, the, they do, the enemies here do seem to have amped up damage counts. And the skeleton king's uh, when he when he like winds up and says you will fall and smashes down on the ground that can uh, that can that can one shot me I think if I don't have frost armor on so uh, as a, oh my god there it is there we go okay so just teleport out of that um, and otherwise it's just blizzard breath of fire to burn off these guys you don't have to kill the tombs just the guy. Um, so yeah, normally I'll just ignore those because they don't actually put out a whole lot of damage on me. And there comes the, uh, comes that attack again. 
And there we go. That was the Blighted Graveyard event. It was... Yeah, I guess it was kind of boring. <laughs> okay, uh... Yeah, hmm. Maybe I should have run that with my Archer and Knight. Because I'm actually... finished with my wizard stuff. I kept the, um... What's it called? Crown of Valor? Yeah, the Crown of Valor. Just because it has the crit chance bonus. I do have the um Death Watch? I don't I don't I'm not that great with this Death Mark. The Death Mark uh crown on my knight, I believe. Yeah. I might change over to that once the artifact medal comes out. Or I might just be satisfied with ninety two point eight percent or whatever I have on my wizard and just keep my uh fire damage medal. Uh, the, uh, also the three mana per kill kind of helps me too. Alright, but that's enough of me blabbering on. I, uh, hope you enjoy the event run, and I'll catch you next week for the next one.